guys, we are playing today the Drifter. This is a pulp adventure thriller. And you know me, I love pixel games. I'm retro myself. So let's jump in and see if we like it. It says a drifter murdered finds himself alive again second, seconds before his death. Struggling to maintain his sanity, can he unravel the conspiracy surrounding this condition and those hunting him? This game is by Powerhoof and also published by them. I jumped the car back in Breaker's Cut. Told myself I'd never come back. But well, shit. Here I am. This must be me. Oh, damn. Shouldn't have told Annie I'd come. Don't know how she tracked down my number. My strong, big sister. Crying into the phone. Oh well. I've been sleeping rough long enough to get a good night's kip. Despite the diesel fumes and the noise. It's moving slightly. I stooped to pull back the tarp. Poor old guy had hardly stirred the whole trip, sleeping off one thing or another. I should let the poor guy sleep. Everything I need's in there, so not much. My phone, wallet, change of undies and shaving kit so I can freshen up when I need to. Plus the suit I borrowed for the funeral. Nothing in my pack I can use right now. Some empty crates, huddle, and one of the car. One end of the car, sorry. Okay. Familiar skyline peeks through the vents of the old reefer. City hasn't changed much in the last five years. Jeez, what am I going to say to Sarah? Hey, sorry about, you know, disappearing for half a decade. Jesus. Okay, time to ditch this old girl. I pull at the door, and it doesn't budge. Great. Putting my back into it this time, I strain against the frame. And getting that open without some help. Okay. So... I grab the tarp. items here. Oh, okay. That's the top. Hey, give me a hand with this door. He mutters something under his breath, continues snoring. Did a stint working reefer cars like this. You've got to set those flow hatches just right or you'll have a car full of rotting fruit. I think about trying to get up there, but I'm sure I can get this door open. Okay. Are you really sure? My bed for the night. My bed for the night. A wooden pallet covered on old racks. How would we get the door open then? Hmm. And getting that open without some help. Yeah, exactly. But I don't see any items anymore in here. I think about trying to get up there, but I'm sure I can get this door open. No, no, I'm not sure at all. 
and getting that open without some help. I also think a top will not work at all. Bending down, I shake him by the shoulder. Hey, I fall back as the iron bar whistles past my face. Hey, watch it! Quiet! You'll get us killed again! You've lost it, mate. You have to help! He glances to the side, listening. You're right. Try that. It's no use. What? Think! Think! He continues muttering under his breath. He's gripping that hunk of rebar as if his life depends on it. Look, put it down. I'll put it through your skull. Think, think. He returns to muttering to himself, eyes darting about wildly. The guy's got a screw loose. Don't fancy my chances trying to grab that bar. The guy's got a screw loose. Don't fancy my chances trying okay. to grab that bar. By the way, we know that saying also in Germany, the screw loose. <laughs> Let's try that with the I throw the tarp over the raving man, wrestling him to the ground. Dad, get it off! You don't know what you're doing! <laughs> I've got to get um, out of here. Okay, let's grab Reaching the down, crowbar. I grab the hefty chunk of iron. Chunk of iron and open I jam the, the door. bar into the frame, lean into it. The door gives way with a screech. Sudden, blinding light stabs at my eyes. I spin back behind the door. The old guy, having finally freed himself, is caught like a rabbit in headlights. What have you done? Ah, oh, shit. Security. The man looks around frantically. Relax. I've been caught freight hopping before and talked my way out of it. Hey! We're with Western Rail! <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? You've got to break the cycle! I can't... <laughs> Okay. Oh, God! Squinting into the light, I glimpse silhouettes of armed men, waiting and watching. Can't make out who they are, but not Metro Security, that's for sure. Might be able to dive past the door. Bullets okay. shatter past me as I dive across the doorway. Maybe we take now the exit up Grabbing here. my pack, I throw open the hatch and leap into the blackness on the far side of the train. Then I'm tumbling down a steep siding, concrete rushing up to meet me. Okay. Chapter 1, welcoming party. I lie there, looking at the sky, trying to process what just happened. I hear the distant sound of sirens, and above me, Shouts, doors slamming, tires on gravel. Then silence. <laughs> At least my phone's not busted. Uh, all quiet up there now. I think the sirens scared them off. Okay. I pick it up, screen flashing a blurry photo of my sister. Annie? Mick, hey! Yeah. Hey. How you doing? You in town yet? Can't wait to catch up. Uh, sure. Jeez, Mick, show some enthusiasm. We've got a funeral to plan. Same irrepressible Annie. You in town yet? When are you getting here? We need to go through Mum's things, find some photos for the wake. Did Uncle Phil call you? Uh, no. Did I need... Ah, uh, never mind. You're staying at ours tonight, yeah? Have the address? Yeah. Off Cooper Street, right? No, Mick. Jesus, we moved like over a year ago. Ah, uh, sorry. I angry beeps from my phone. You gotta break out of that head of yours, Mick. Talk to Sarah? Annie, my phone's gonna run out. Jesus, she's gonna be at the funeral, you know. You still haven't talked to her. I can't. I Just tell me your address. My battery. I know it's hard for you, but you're gonna have to face her. Annie, your address. Okay, okay, sorry. I know I shouldn't push you, but... 
I look I've down at my dead phone. <laughs> Shit. Typical woman. No idea what her address is. How am I supposed to remember they'd moved? Uh, better find a way to ring her back. Okay. Pack must have caught something sharp on the way down. Ripped her right open. I fish out my phone's charge cable. The only thing worth salvaging. Okay. Closely scattered, torn, or caked with mud. Nothing salvageable. Okay. So he kind of lost everything now. Bill? Is that you? Mick, what are you doing here? Bill used to hang out around the shelter where Sarah worked. Known him since I was a kid. Uh, back for a funeral. Mum, uh, mum died. Oh, Mick, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Long time coming. She'd been, uh, she'd been sick for a while. You don't sound okay. I don't know. Mm. You must have heard those shots up at the railway. Oh uh, yeah. Ask him about that. I'm a bit shaken up, to be honest. Just been shot at up on the railway. Jesus, really? I thought that was some kids playing with fireworks. So what, some trigger-happy med officers? Couldn't be. They left when they heard sirens. Jesus, Mick. Yeah, I don't know. You're not staying at the pit anymore. The Pitt Street Homeless Support Centre. I'd ended up there as a kid. It's where I met Sarah. She had to shut it down, man. Oh, man. Why? Oh, you should know more than me. Surely Sarah told you. Sarah, my wife. I guess ex-wife now. I haven't talked to her in a long time. Since, you know. Oh, right. Jeez. Sorry, Mick. It's all right. Hey, can I borrow your phone? I meant to stay at my sister's tonight. My battery's dead and don't have her address. Of course. Got her number? Shit. Look it up? Nah, uh, it'll be unlisted. Could call her practice, but she wouldn't be back in until after the funeral. Fuck, what am I gonna do? Hmm. Could charge you on a phone, maybe? Let's see what the damage is. Electrics look okay. Smashed radiator and a little low on wiper fluid. It's not going anywhere, but it should start. Hmm. Thought you might use battery. It stinks of petrol. They must have siphoned some to try and torch it. I glance around inside. No keys, but the lighter socket catches my eye. I think my phone charger has an adapter that it fit. Okay. Someone's joyride ended here. Should see if my charger will fit the lighter socket. Uh, let's take the battery charger, the charge cable. I toss the cigarette lighter and plug my phone into the socket. Yeah. Nothing. Might only okay. charge while the engine's running. God damn it. How can we make it run? I know my way around a car, but not enough to hotwire one. It'd take a special kind of stupid for a joyrider to hold onto the keys, though. Might uh -huh. find them around here somewhere. Yeah. That's true. It's not going anywhere, but it should start. Okay. Yeah, well, we have to find the kit then. Let's mm. okay. go over here. Nothing but shuttered warehouses down there. I should figure out where to go before wandering aimlessly. I 
shake the can. Slosh of petrol at the bottom. Okay, so we found some petrol. That's good. Cannot go on here. Uh, service road stretches off into the dark. Okay, got you. Oh, back we go. And we need to find that kit. Good evening, sir. My name's Angela Grace. I write for the Herald. Can I ask your name? Okay, well, you don't have to tell me. Anyway, I really want to find out what it's like out here for you homeless. Unbelievable. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Leave the poor guy alone. He's clearly asleep. Oh, hi. My name's Angela Grace. I write for the Herald. Can I ask your name? Uh, no. Kid like this shouldn't be out here. Not your problem, Mick. Passed out string of troll hanging from his mouth. Hmm. Let's see. Loose panel on the side. I kick it open. Nothing but a random tangle of wires and tubes. I'll leave him be. Cannot talk to those guys either. We could I really shouldn't get involved, but hey, so hi. Right, uh, what are you doing down here? I write for the Herald. I really want to find out what it's like out here for you homeless. You homeless? God help me. Okay, look, I'm not homeless, so. Oh great, that's great. So how long have you been staying out here, Mister? Uh... Carter. And I'm not staying out here. Jesus, would you put that thing away? Sorry, sorry. Just a few questions. No. I should tell her to get lost. No one will talk to her. Did she hear those, those shots? Shoots? Shots. Up on the railway? Hmm. Maybe she has a portable phone charger or a spare battery or something. I don't think so. Uh... You're here about the shooting? She looks up sharply. Shooting? What shooting? Don't get involved, Mick. Oh, uh, nothing. Must have misheard. No, I'm interviewing about all these homeless going missing. That or going crazy. Right. Another college kid thinks they can fix people. Look, Angela, was it? Go home to your warm bed. No one here has any reason to talk to you. I know that. I'm not stupid. She thrusts her hand in her pocket, pulls out a hotel-sized bottle of rum. Got a whole bunch. You look like you could use something to drink. Wow. About as sensitive as I'd expect from a rich city kid. Well, what do you want? Nothing. Just quit with the presumptuous attitude. These are people, not your high school project. I'm 24, and you're one to talk, patronizing asshole. Whatever. <laughs> Guess I messed it up. Hmm. Can I go on? No. Okay, there is no way to go on here. And nothing to search. I can still ask her about the phone. Don't suppose you have a portable phone charger? No. Wait, you have a phone? Uh, yeah. Guess you think just because I don't have a place to stay, I don't have a phone. Well, I don't... Everyone has a phone, lady. So what now? It's not going to have me. Hmm. 
say that there's something hidden anywhere in the dark that I don't see or there is nothing anymore that I could take a look at. And also I cannot go up here. So what's the solution here? Uh. I know my way around a car, but not enough to hotwire one. I know my way around it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's not going anywhere, but it should start. Wait, I have some fuel now. Maybe I can use that on Metallic the Metallic smell of old petrol stings my nostrils as it glugs into the tank. Okay. I know my way around a car, but not enough to hotwire one. Oh, maybe he can. What's with the car? <laughs> Kids joyriding, I guess. Can't even torch a car properly. <laughs> Still, it's my own private suite until they cart it off, eh? They leave the keys? Yeah. Need them? Sure. Might be able to charge my phone. Bill fishes the keys from one of his many pockets. Thanks. No, oh, that worked. Leaning in, I try the key. The red charging light on my phone blinks on, but then the engine splutters and dies. <laughs> Still not firing. Uh, Better check the engine again. Okay, let's check the engine. Okay, there must be something wrong under here. It sounded like no fuel was getting through. Damn, still can't see anything wrong. Think I need help with this engine. Mind hopping in? Sure. Okay, try it now. The engine turns over, and I see fuel stream from a hose beneath the engine. Ah, here it is. What's the problem? Tear in the fuel line between the pressure regulator and injectors. Damn. Going to need a replacement. Hmm. Thanks, Bill. Don't suppose you've seen any quarter-inch hose around? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't a hardware store. There's a bunch of junk in the underpass, though, eh? Uh, yeah, let's take another look. Maybe we can now use the wires we saw before. Could use that hose for the car. Uh-huh. Come on, you asshole! Bloody thing screwed in there too tight. With this help? I glance up. Kid's holding an oversized hunting knife like it's a snake. Jesus! What are you doing carrying a knife like that? You know, protection. Jeez, all it's gonna do is get you stabbed. What's wrong with a whistle or pepper spray or something? I can look after myself. Whatever. Can I borrow it? Well, if you can answer my questions. Oh, God help me. Fine. Great. So, Mr... Carter. Right. So, Mr. Carter, what led you to be living down here? I'm not. So... Look, maybe I don't mind living rough. Maybe I prefer it to being tied down. But I work. I have places I can stay. I'm fine. Next question. Okay, well, surely you've noticed the recent spate of disappearances, not to mention the mental illness-related violent crimes. I'll stop you there. No, haven't heard a thing. You going to help me or not? Ugh, maybe I should ask Bill. Cannot talk to those guys. Then, yeah, we will have to ask Bill. Hey, Bill, you noticed any people acting weird recently? Well, I'm, I mean, yeah. You heard about the pit. All right. They shut it down? Yeah. Well, I was helping Sarah out there. She let me stay when there was a spare bed. That's Sarah for you. But people on the street been getting crazy, eh? Nothing new. Not like this, Mick. Everyone's scared. Solid blokes, you know? Fine one day. Next day, they're going nuts. Sarah ended up in hospital. Oh, Jesus. Well, she's all right, but couldn't keep the place open. I should have been there for her. Like she needed more reason to hate me. Some bad new gear people getting into? I don't know, Mick. I think this is something else, eh? Yeah, thing is, I like the theme of that game very much. Also, it's graphics, of course. Maybe a dumb question, but 
Why is it so quiet down here? Malinji. Uh, what? Shadowy figures with burning eyes. Taking people in the night. Folks calling them Malinji. Right. <laughs> well, that's the story going round. People have been going missing, but it's been a cold winter. I think that's all there is to it. He shrugs. Okay. That was helpful. Yeah, I like the story, I like the graphics, and most of all, it plays very nicely. I tell her what Bill said about the pit, and reluctantly, what I'd seen in the rail car. Thanks, this is great stuff. Just keep my name out of it. I asked around, and it does seem there's something to what you're saying. I knew it. Just stories getting shared. Some shadowy demon with glowing eyes dragging people off in the night. Malinji, they're calling it. Interesting. Nonsense is what it is. Typical tweaker shit. You want to publish that? Be my guest. Look, I answered your questions. Can I use that knife or what? Yeah, all right. She hands it to me warily. You can have it back if you like, but honestly, you're more likely to get stabbed with it than without. I guess. Look, you seem all right, kid. Go talk to Bill, old guy out there. He loves a good yarn. Oh, thanks. I cringe at what Bill will think as she bounces off to talk to him. Okay, let's now get the wires out here. Got it. Or whatever that was. Uh, Go. That's what I need. Hello? And Bill is gone. The keys are gone. My charger! No! Get off me, you! Ah! Okay, we have to have her. Let me go! The hell? What's going on? Please. I need my knife. Jesus, they look like SAS or something. Oh God, yeah, ah! but, yes, some um, gun. Where's the knife? Hmm. What do I do now? Where's my inventory, by the way? I did not really want to have any of these. Hmm. He's dragging the reporter to the boat. What do they want with her? Was she actually onto something? Uh, where was my inventory, guys? Ah, here. Okay. Is that the knife? Yeah, I take that. Can I maybe throw that? Cheap knife made more for sure than any practical use. Oh, God. Knife's blunt enough without trying to cut through that. Yeah, what can I then cut? Don't need to cut that. Knife's blunt enough without trying to cut through that. Hmm. Yeah, what can I do? I think these are the guys that shot the old timer up at the railway. Shadowy figures with burning eyes. The Malinji. Shove from behind. Oh. Wait. Okay, I was not fast enough, it seems. Yeah, guys, uh, this is a brilliant game. I really love it. It's called The Drifter, and you should go to Steam Sudden and download icy cold it. Shocks me awake. Frozen, can't move, can't feel. I see only blackness. Okay, now I need the knife. They are trying to drown me here. I struggle, gasp in panic, and the blackness fills my lungs. Then I have no breath to scream. Oh God, come on, get I try to serve. fight it. Oh God, I try. But my body is unresponsive, lifeless. Okay, the cold I'm blackness that fills my lungs <laughs> coils its way into my brain, and I know I am dying. Slowly, even the lack of sensation fades. Where there was nothing but blackness, now there is nothing. And I know 
Somehow, I am dead. Okay. I messed up. Sorry, guys. But then, every neuron in my brain firing, blasting out into eternity, my mind torn by some immeasurable force, twisting out in all dimensions, then contracting, speed of light back into nothing. Sudden icy cold shocks me awake. Why is this happening? Uh. I manage to work the knife from my back pocket and awkwardly saw through the ropes. I'm really not sure. I wrench the sack from my face. What to do in the end? Uh, that's... Maybe you start That somewhere. won't help. Okay. That's... I fumble at them some more. Pointless. I fumble at them some more. Pointless. What can I do? I grab the jerry can as it sinks past. I fumble at them some more. Yeah, what do I do Pointless. with the jerry can? Jerry Need to it? think of something else. Really? I push the tube up into the can, suck the water from it, and take a breath. I almost gag on the oily fumes, ah, oh, but really? I bought myself a few more seconds. That was the solution. Can't see how wow. to make it work. Won't work. Can I get rid of that? Okay. I return to cutting with renewed strength. At last, the ropes give way. I kick to the surface, glimpse brutalist concrete rising from the chop and swim towards it. It takes the last of my strength, but I pull myself up the embankment. Before I collapse, I lie there, shivering in the bitter wind, trying to make sense of what's happened. I died. They killed me. But I am no longer dead. Okay. So guys, that was probably the end. Not only of chapter 1, but of the demo, I guess. And I really recommend that game. Just go download it, try it out yourself and have fun. And I see you then at the next one. Bye bye.